Hello and welcome in to a Fantasy and Frames edition of the 2023 Redraft Series where I'll be covering DJ Moore in Redraft. My name is Kyle. You can find me on Twitter at KZ1180. If you're just joining me on YouTube and you're new to the channel, well, first, welcome. And second, if you could just hit that subscribe button, click on the bell that pops up. You'll be notified of all of our great content that we put out here on Fantasy and Frames. All right, so let's get to it. DJ Moore has departed from Carolina and landed in the Windy City of Chicago to team up with young sensational quarterback Justin Fields. Now, we all know that DJ Moore is the wide receiver, clear-cut wide receiver one in Chicago, but the Bears also addressed the offensive line in free agency, where they spent a first-round draft pick on right tackle Darnell Wright from Tennessee to hopefully give Fields more time in the pocket to find DJ Moore. They also signed Nate Davis from the Tennessee Titans to a three-year deal to help shore up the right side on the offensive line, where they struggled mightily in pass protection, where they ranked fourth worst in allowed sacks with 58. And just to give you an idea on how bad that is, the Broncos were the worst with 63 allowed sacks. So the Bears definitely needed to improve the front line, and I believe they did. Let's take a look at a closer look into DJ Moore to see if you want to take the plunge and draft him to your fantasy team. Now, last year in 2022, he played in all 17 games. He's been pretty durable, actually, throughout his career, only missing a handful of games in his career. He did somewhat have a down year. He had 63 catches, 888 yards, and seven touchdowns. As you can see on your screen, he averaged basically 10 points per game and a half PPR at 9.9, .9, and he finished the year at a half PPR at wide receiver 22. Now, let's talk about some red flags, maybe some things that maybe – you'd be worried about drafting DJ Moore. Well, the Bears last season was at the bottom of all 32 teams with the lowest amount of pass attempts at only 22.2 .2 attempts per game. Yeah, that's bad. I mean, if you're only throwing the ball 20, 22 times, DJ Moore is only going to get a certain amount of targets. Now, DJ Moore has also never finished inside the top 12 at wide receiver in a PPR scoring format. Yep, that's not good either. He's also never had double-digit touchdowns in a single season, with his career high only being seven total touchdowns. Now, we talked about earlier how the Bears were dead last in pass attempts. On the flip side of things, Carolina last year was 29th in pass attempts, so he left a low-volume team and traded to another. So he's proven that he can thrive in a low-volume offense as he's had three consecutive years of 1,100-plus yards. Now, having played for Sam Darnold, P.J. Walker, Will Greer, and Teddy Bridgewater, I'm looking forward to seeing what he can do with Justin Fields. Moore is also used to being heavily targeted as he had four-plus years of 100-plus targets and did all this with multiple different quarterbacks at his disposal. Now, let's take a look at the outlook and fantasy for DJ Moore. Where do I see DJ Moore in 2023? I have DJ Moore slotted into the wide receiver 19 with the chance of maybe cracking the top 15 at the wide receiver position. Now, wide receiver 12, top 12 by the end of the season, probably not going to happen. Um, seems unlikely, but he is going wide receiver 20 in fantasy pros and a half PPR, which is very fair for DJ Moore. Now, players being drafted around him include Miles Sanders, Debo Samuel, Cam Akers, Calvin Ridley, and Damian Pierce. I would select DJ Moore over all of these players just based on him being more consistent throughout his career. And Calvin Ridley, well, he's been out of the game for over a year. I would comfortably draft Moore in the fourth round as a solid wide receiver too. I'd like to thank you all for watching this video. If you found this video to be useful, and if you're on YouTube, please, again, just hit that subscribe button and a thumbs up. I would greatly appreciate it. Also, let me know your thoughts. Do you agree or even disagree with my take? Let me know in the comments below. Love to hear from you. You can also reach me out on Twitter at KZ1180. Always open to talk fantasy football with you. Just hit me up. Thanks again for watching. Until next time, KZ is out.